Hi traders, I'm going to share with you the best chart I can see in Forex at the moment and it's one I really want to get seriously positioned in. This is the Eurodollar CAD. The Euro is particularly weak and the CAD it really is gaining a lot of momentum, a lot of strength. CAD has been under a lot of pressure because some of the data coming out this year has been lagging the US but uh, recently it's really catching up and we have CAD GDP on Friday bear in mind we've got Thanksgiving on Thursday so the US is going to be away so volume in the second half of the week could be very limited so we need to be careful about that but um, you know a good finish to last week and we'll go over to the indices in a minute but mainly just want to focus on this on the CAD. Uh, I think this Euro CAD is the best option because the CAD is one of the strongest pairs and the Euro is one of the weakest. And so this is typically the charts I'd look at weekly on the left, monthly on the right, particularly this time of the week. Ideally I want to pull back to 140, but we are uh, 80 points under that. So there's a reasonable chance we're going to get that. We may even get higher. And I would even love to short at uh, 14180 area, but not sure we're going to see that. Anyway, this is what I'm looking at. This the monthly on the right is you know, in a nice steep decline. Uh, we have had, if you look at the previous level, we had a cluster here that we were holding in this fib area here, and then we, once we fell out of this box. We fell out from 155 and came all the way down to 125 in 09 uh, 2010. Obviously, that you know, was a traumatic period in financial history, but at the very least, I think we could see 135 on the, you know, this 134, 135, which is this fib level here. So we've broken down out of this fib level here, come out of this cluster, this price cluster here. And we need to get short as high as we possibly can to limit our risk without missing out on the opportunity. So my target is 135, and I would like to get short at 140.50 area, 140.80 if I can. Um, but I will take my time, pick my spot, see where we are late US session on Monday, and then see if I can get short at that stage. Otherwise, I'll sit back and then wait for any higher moves. Because we had a we had a 280 point move on Friday, so I don't want to get short too low. I want to give this time just to see if we can get some kind of bounce. The other one I'm interested in is CAD Swissy, and CAD Swissy is um, obviously very bullish. So the CAD being the stronger and the Swissy is struggling. So we are right up into, on this weekly chart, you can see we're into a fib, fib resistance area. Uh, monthly I had this boxed off because of uh, this area here that was the top of this hammer and this area here that was low. So we came down, back down to the bottom of this box, formed the bottom of the box and we are just sitting above this 85 area here at 86.30 so a move back to that box would put us at uh, 85.30 so 100 points lower to see if we my target on cats we see is 90 so quick look across the rest of the charts I have been I was buying a uh, US dollar CAD last week and I've stopped doing that because it was hurting my account and you can see you've had two weeks lower and on the monthly we're getting towards the end of November and this month 115 is struggling so we could fall all the way back to 110 on that so it's 235 points lower. Um, I will go through the daily in a minute, but I th I'm just sitting back on that one for the moment. Pound yen has been like a lot of other yen pairs on a tremendous run. The weekly is still blue, so the weekly on this chart is 
still close higher. We open the week at 183, we close the week at 184.42. So any push back to that weekly support, 183.30, could potentially be an area to buy. But I'm looking, I'm waiting to see if the nervousness in the Japanese market could see some yen repatri repatriation right down to 181 or 180. There's a snap election being called and we need to see what uh, can happen to that. Uh, so likewise, I'm just holding fire on the, on the US dollar yen. Massive monthly three months push up in the US dollar yen. US dollar yen close the week uh, just under 100 points up so that's a relatively weak move given that we've come up and had some two three four hundred point moves in previous weeks so the US to the yen has got a little potentially going to get see some sort of bounce here so I don't want to buy too high, I want to be patient, I want to see if I can get a nice pullback on that. 115 will be perfect, well, that's 280 points away. Indices, um, the S&Ps gapped up and held up, so 2050 is a major support level. If we can open on Monday, hold 2050, then, uh, sorry, cut down and test 2050 because we closed at 2063 then I would look to see if that can hold and then push up to 2150 that's a big ask that's a very big ask there's not that much of 2014 left so let's just take our time see where that opens on Monday and see see if it wants to come down and test Thursday's close and hold it and see further developments uh, the one I'm looking at very keenly is I want to see this Nikkei. Nikkei was flat on the week. Uh, Japan is in recession. Abe needs, uh, the Prime Minister of Japan needs to uh, get endorsement of his public to see if he can carry on with abonomics. And that's why at the moment there's nervousness in the Japanese market and that's flat. So with that in mind, if that starts to re-break really from that higher level, that could cause some ripples to the markets, which is why I'm being very cautious in the first part of the week, waiting to see where the Nikkei can go. DAX, on the other hand, is waiting on the ECB. The Germans are holding back on quantitative easing. They're the only partner in Europe that seem to be holding back on quantitative easing. If the Germans relent, based on the fact that Italy is in recession um, and Spain is still needing um, is making progress but it's got a long way to go etc cut long story short uh, Europe is particularly Germany is relying on the ECB to sanction quantitative easing to see further gains but at the moment all we're doing is retesting look at this weekly I'm just retesting the underside of this channel breakdown but I would be a buyer at 95 on the basis that is a very very strong weekly push I'd be a buyer of 95 to see if I can push up to 10,000 on the DAX oil and gold are going to influence my decisions on trading of the Aussie and the CAD. The gold has had three weeks of higher closes, so if we can sustain 1200, uh, then we could see 1240, 1250 start closing underneath 1195, even as early as Monday. And I would look to see if the Aussie could roll over on the assumption that the gold may not be sustainable at these levels and um, but just going to give it a little bit more time Getting, like I said we're getting close to the end of November we've got a very short week in, in if you think in terms of the US not being around second half of the week not only is Thursday Thanksgiving but Friday is called Black Friday because Americans tend to dash for the shops 
on Friday and it is the biggest retail weekend of the year in the US. So that's why I'm not busting a gut to get in this market, but these are the levels I'm looking at. So just to recap, I want to see if gold and oil can sustain, can hold these levels that they've achieved um, in the strength of you know, a very strong dollar that's been rising since midsummer. And therefore, I'm looking to see if the CAD and the Aussie can um, can hold these levels and continue to the upside, and um, particularly the CAD, because that's my main focus of this week. And last but not least, let's look at the let's not ignore the pound US and the euro US. Pound US was flat for the week, or bar a few points. So that looks if like we could see another 150 point drop to the magic. 155. So any pullback to 157 is a potential short area on that one. And the Euro US saw a very sharp sell off on Friday as in line with the Euro CAD. So we could be heading for at least 122, 120 right down there on the Uh, Euro US. Let's just look at the weekly, uh, sorry, the daily on this on the couple of on the main charts. Here you can see the Euro sold but came close to support, which is why I'm more interested in the Euro CAD and the Euro US because of the way the Euro CAD is coming out of that box. And the Pound US, you can see, is is clustered but short. So hence the reason why I'm looking for the highs to sell. Any pop up to one five eight is to be sold into, and US dollar yen, which is obviously a main issue. We've had a new high close, not quite underneath. We just held the Thursday low, so it's not a, um, a convincing sell signal, but it is extended. It's very extended. Okay, I hope that helps, and look forward to seeing you at the next update.